Hello and good morning and welcome back to 16 Years in Our Kid 3. Rightio, um, some people, not a lot of people, only a few people, uh, have asked uh, how I sleep in the back of William, in the back of the car. Quite comfy, actually. Um, I've got enough stuff in here to make it comfy and I thought I'd run through my morning routine. So, behind me I've got two lovely duck-down pillows that make it rather comfy and then underneath me I've got two camping mats uh, a king size duvet folded in half and a single duvet as my mattress and then I've got this uh, if you can see it army issue arctic sleeping bag and then two sleeping bags on top of that so yeah it does keep me coasty it did get cold there last night you know when you're blowing the old uh, steam rings or whatever you call it when it gets a bit cold and then over here I've got my little table which is my food box underneath and I've got a little cup, and I keep my water bottles back there. Um, everything's a bit messy today, I must admit. Um, yeah, it has been messy. Where it's been raining, and I've done all my uh, washing and whatnot, I haven't had a chance to put it uh, in my bag. So that side looks um, rather horrendous. Um, I've changed my boxer shorts, so when I get into my clothes in a second, yeah, I've got a, uh, you know, I don't really want to scare anybody. Um, but yeah, here's my uh, morning routine. So, first things first. Put the phone on charge. So you can lean through, and I've got a cup holder here, and that expertly holds my phone. I don't know if Super ever designed it like that, but that's how it came out. Oh, come on, here you go. Right, uh, you can just about see. I'll come back to you in a minute. Right, got me uh, trousers for today, my jumper for today. As I said, I've already done my box shorts. And the socks. I mean, it's always important when you're trying to get um, dressed when you can't actually sit up or anything like that. Um, before putting your trousers on, put your socks on. It makes it a hell of a lot easier. Right, yeah. Try not to make all the uh, dodgy sounds doing this. Oh, that's why I didn't get myself. I didn't get myself a t-shirt. How silly was I? Uh, one t-shirt at the top of the bottom of this one. Um, there we go. That one I do. Nice blue t-shirt. Long sleeved. For the absolutely rainy weather that's out there. Gosh, it's been miserable. Uh, it's meant to be clearing up tomorrow, which hopefully in a minute I'll explain something that I'm hoping to do tomorrow and see if anybody else wants to come and join me. Right, that's that. Trousers. Right. I've had the car heating on for a bit, so I don't really need my fleece at the moment. He has to excuse the hair. Gosh, that's bad morning hair. Right, uh, come back out here, and then we go back through here. Right, I'll see if I can uh, stand you up in a place that you can see, doubtful. Uh, I think you might just be able to do that. Get that out of the way. Right, there we go. Right, and then every morning, what I have to do, excuse all the clothing, I oh, know, it's a terrible mess. Fold my uh, silver blind up that goes across the back so people can't see me sleeping. And as you can see, the uh, windows are quite expertly by my friend, uh, Jason Christopher Brown get done then and of course you got all this condensation so every morning same job otherwise the mold it does creep up so badly and believe me when you get moldy in here and you start feeling the effects when you're breathing and everything else gosh that's wet this morning not something that you really want to be saying when you're single. No, that's just the way it is. And then this silver bit gets tucked up behind there, like so. And my cup goes down there, like so. And then I've got, I've got some money up here. So I don't want to leave that there. Or was it scatters all over the place. Sorry, try and keep myself in shot. Crap angles there, have you uh, seen just the top of my forehead? I do apologise. So yeah, it can be done. Quite happily, you know, some of the things I do miss. Oh, put you in my little holder. I've even got that for when I fall asleep and watch something. It's quite brilliant. I was watching uh, 14 Peaks again last night. 
forgotten how good that movie is. Right, yo. And then, as we come through to here, and you'll see, even if it is raining, I'm flexible enough to be able to tuck myself in there, which is always a good thing. And then shoes, keep down in the footwell. I've got so many pairs of shoes. I've got like walking boots next to me. My Slashinger trainers that are no good for wet weather uh, there. And then I've got a pair that are back there um, for when I want to get out during the night and they're a quick, uh, easy pair. And then, yeah, a bit of a hairbrush. Nothing too fancy. There we go. And the older beard and moustache. I haven't been debating whether to chop that all off. Now, I would put my hat on, but another key point when you're doing this in the car, I'm not too sure if it happens in vans, is um, underneath, where you've got the temperature difference, it gets, like, damp underneath. So, every morning, I'm going to lean back through. Grabbing all the duvet and bits. Yeah, it's quite wet this morning. Pull them up so during the day as you're driving around and whatnot, it tends to uh, dry that lot out. And then because I can't, I haven't packed all my stuff into my bag, it's in, well, excuse me, but an absolute state at the moment. But when I get somewhere dry, like a hotel room or something, which isn't time to do yet, I'll pack all that way and it'll be a hell of a lot tidier than it is at the moment. There we go final bag and this is just so I can see out the window there we go and now we're all sorted now I can put my hat on and then brush my teeth toothbrush and whatnot which is that you all want to see and the squirt bottle just to make sure that you get the toothpaste off and that is how I sleep in the back of William and other than that take it easy catch you in a little while keep adventuring and love you bye